Hello and welcome to Slow Road the Pro YouTube channel today and today I am super excited to announce that I got a pair of knee braces and if you read the description you found out that they are the RXR X-Cross knee braces. These are pretty low on the market right now and they're brand new and they're going for only $239. $199 just for the knee brace itself and then another $40 for the patella guard. And that is a wicked good deal. If you've looked at knee braces and you're really looking to get in a pair, you know that the other braces out there on the market, the next cheapest you're gonna get is gonna be the Liette Z frames for $300 for a set, and then it only goes up from there. And then you can get a pair on what we're gonna compare it to is a pair of CTI knee braces. These go for roughly $800 for the entire kit. So you're talking a quarter of the cost and supposedly a pretty good design. So we're gonna go ahead and get this box opened up right now and find out if these are a good set of braces. Got my trusty cutter here. All right, and that's it, just one piece of tape and you're getting into this box. Pretty nice packaging. All right, so there we are. So, first thing you're gonna find whenever you open this box is the patella guard, and it came two of those inside of one package. Next, we're gonna have our knee pad, foam pads, and knee brace sock. Some extra pads, it doesn't say thickness. Another set of slightly, uh, roughly about the same size pads. Okay, that's odd. Another pair of patella guards, so you might not have to purchase the $40 extra patella guard. I actually got two sets with this kit, so that's that's kind of cool, I guess. And then the knee brace itself. And these actually look pretty good. It's it's metal construction. See? I have it backwards in my hand right now. So this is the left. I got a medium size, that's what I measured out to. It's a smooth action. Now we'll compare the smooth action of this to the CTI brace now. Which is a very smooth action. And the knee brace is actually attached on this one, so it's a little bit of a different design. And I don't quite understand yet, and hopefully it turns out to be a good design, is that if you look at the two braces, all the hard construction of the CTI brace is going to be on the front of your leg. And on these new X-Cross braces, so you're going to have it on the front of your thigh like the CTI brace, but you're going to have the second metal construction on the back of your calf. So I do not know if these are going to be very good at keeping your leg from going too far backwards. They do have a stop, but I do know it's going to really help with twisting and side to side movement, which is the biggest thing that I'm looking for. Go ahead and set this back off to the side. Left in the box, there's not much. We have the right side brace a screwdriver and a bag full of a bunch of different sized adapters to change where your knee can fully extend to. So that's pretty cool. Came with a couple extra screws in there it looks like. And another bag with adapters and a screwdriver. So I'm assuming one for left side, one for right side. And the last thing we have is an instruction manual, which tells you about their chest protectors, not their knee braces. So, hey, that's not really needed. At 10 degrees, we're looking at almost 90 degrees. Very close, and this is what we're gonna start with. And all you're gonna have to do is you slid that in there, you grab a little screw, you grab your kit included screwdriver. Oops, I dropped it. And all you have to do is screw this in through both sides of the braces. And I would assume snug. And then we still have smooth movement, but a stop at just under 90 degrees. Now we get on to hyperextension. This side is going to have two dots on it. So we're going to go with 90 degrees, which is going to be perfectly straight. Hi. 
I'd say probably a good idea for this is probably just two fingers, as tight as you want to make it. You really don't want to strip this stuff out. They're not going to be very strong and only being a 440 or possibly M3 screw size. So very small, very easy to strip. So don't over tighten it. There's no reason to be over tightened. And that's where we're going to stop there. I'm going to go ahead and put this side on because I'm pretty certain this is going to be the size I want to run. And there we go. So those are your knee braces with hyperflexion and hyperextension stoppers in them. They look really good. They feel pretty decent in construction. They're very soft and that's that. So now we move on to the patella guard. Now, if you watch the one video that they did include with these, which what they show is you're gonna have this unstrapped for your lower your straps are velcro on both sides, which is pretty nice. One side wears out, so you still have a second side. Strap one side, maybe. You strap zero. Not 100% sure. You take these loops and you're gonna put them around the ears. And then again on this side. And it's just as easy as stretching them around and letting them get a full hold. Once you have that on, in the video they showed that the bottom of the shin guard is going to wrap into this and then be strapped. And then that is it. That's how your knee guard is going to work. So it does look like it's going to bend very decent. It is a decent knee pad. It's nothing crazy. This is more focused on being a knee brace with a little bit of protection. While the CTI braces are all about protection, it is very beefy in here. They are really strong. Hopefully they're going to give optimal protection. but. For the money at a quarter of the price, these things are pretty freaking sweet. So, and then we'll get on to a little bit more. We did get a second pair of knee pads. No need to open those, they're good. I guess if I crash hard enough to break them, I have a second set. And then we have the knee socks. They look like they're just long enough to cover the full length of the knee brace itself. It's inside out currently. It's got a decent pad, which it looks to be made up of a about a couple dozen little square blocks that are put in there, so it's very flexible. You're gonna get full movement out of this, which is very nice. You're not even gonna notice this is on, probably. And they do have a little bit of a rubber piece, a rubber seal on the actual band themselves, so hopefully they don't slide down your legs, only on the upper, not the lower. And uh, that's about everything you get in the package. So you're gonna get two cushions, a set of knee brace socks, a set of knee braces. Hopefully in your order, you'll get all the stoppers for your knee braces. So if you're as excited about these as I am, you're gonna get a review on them in a couple seconds. We're gonna go out and do some riding videos with this knee brace on, and Alex is gonna have his CTI knee braces on. And if we crash, we're gonna find out which one's the better deal and what gave us the optimal protection. I'll also be giving a full review on every bit of information I feel is necessary to say about these braces after a ride, and I hope it turns out good. So here comes that ride day. Stay hydrated. Just got a few warm-up laps in. It's taking us some time. We're doing a lot of tuning. People are rev bombing their forks. That's always annoying to listen to. So right now we're just changing up the knee braces. I originally used. 90 degree front stoppers and zero degree rears and that was just giving me too much limitation i can't bend my leg enough and they don't have anything smaller than zero for the uh hyperflexion so i just took them out completely to give myself enough flex so that I, i'm not uncomfortable on the bike i currently can't sit on the seat and have my feet on the pegs without this knee brace stopping and moving so i ended up taking the hyperflexion out of it i originally went with 90 degree hyper extension stoppers in the front of the brace and it just wasn't quite enough i couldn't hit the stoppers so now i have 75 degree in the front and it's just about perfect to where where my leg is locked it hits the stopper and i don't feel like it's going to snap my leg backwards or at least that's the hope so it's really simple all we had to do is take off all our pants and everything and you just go to these screws down here while the knee braces are on and you can just pop this screw out for your hyperflexion side. The screw's gonna fall. Pop 
pop your actual stopper out of the brace. It might be a little bit difficult with the screwdriver. And there you go, that's it. You got that off. Go ahead. Because I'm running none in the back, I'm just going to toss the bolts and the stopper inside of the bags. And then on the top one, just like the just like the back, you can bend your knee to give you some opening space. Take the screw out. Screwdriver in there. Try and pick that out. Flathead screwdriver, a pick would work a lot better than the screwdriver they supply for tightening, but obviously that's not what it's meant for, so pop that out of there. Grab your 75 pin, slide it in. And screw your screw back in and then boom that's all it takes and now you've gone from having stoppers of one size to another and all you had to do is take off your pants now we're going to repeat that process on the left side that way we can get back out and ride all right so we switched over to switchback mx here and that's just because they didn't have a lot of full lap videos uh, of Creekside MX to for you guys, so we switched over to Switchback. Uh, still a good track, have some good laps for you, a couple slow sections, but hopefully you don't hate it too much. The X Cross knee braces are doing great. I uh, have them on this video, helping me keep my leg out, keeping it straight. Uh, really helps keep uh, your knees against the tank and your feet in the right position because your legs are staying straight on the bike. And uh, when you're going through corners like that, it's really nice. Helps you get your leg out there. You don't have to worry about your knee getting twisted or bent incorrectly. So, so far, definitely a good review to the knee braces for me. Uh, things that I do not like too much, and that's just the extra width that it puts on your knees. You know, about a half inch on both knees wider. So, pinching the tank is a little bit different. It's easier on the 125 with the thin gas tank. But on my 250, I have an oversized gas tank. So, it kind of just makes it a little bit hard to pinch your legs so far away from the bike but you know if you have a regular gas tank I feel it's really nice and this is more of a motocross based brace for me uh, not woods riding I don't really see a point of wearing a brace in the woods so this is going to be a track only decision on why I like the brace but the $200 price tag is too good to say no to so definitely a brace worth looking at I got a medium because that's what I measured out to but I feel like a large probably would have been a better decision for me I have to use the smallest pad they gave me in the package on the knee in order to, to, for it to not be too tight on my knee. So I got a medium. If I was getting, if I got another pair, it would definitely be a large. So if you're looking at mediums, you're maybe towards the upper of the size limit on their sizing chart. Definitely go to the next size up. Uh, they have plenty of pads to make the knee brace smaller, but not many on making the knee brace bigger. Obviously, you can't spread the metal. Uh, that being said, I also bent the thigh part, the part that wraps around your thigh on the brace. I did end up bending that. I don't know if it was in my crash or if it was just in transportation of the brace, but it did bend. It was easy to bend it back. It's metal construction, not plastic, so I expected this to happen at some point. So nothing major. The brace still works perfectly, and my leg didn't suffer any damages from it. Uh, the brace is very comfortable on your legs. The four strap design stays where it's supposed to stay. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't bind up. But uh, you're going to want to have to be wearing your boot while the brace is on because if you take your boot off and the brace is on, for me, the brace tends to slide down. It, it's a heavy brace. I'm not surprised it wants to slide if the boot's not there to stop it. But uh, that's just something to keep in mind when you're buying these braces. Uh, so far, if you like this review, and if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay slow, YouTube.